Hi, I am Nine Team. If you are watching this video, then you are done with the Chapter 2 test and you're ready to write equations. So we're going to be asking you to write equations in the slope-intercept form. And if you remember, that is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to add that, to, add this to your note guide. Um, really quickly, I'm going to cover question number one and question number three, and the rest you need to do on your own. Once you're finished showing all of your work and you come up with your final equation, you can check it by looking at the answer key on the back of your sheet. So let's go ahead and write down slope-intercept form. And if you remember correctly, M stands for slope and B stands for the y-intercept. Now, remember, there's another equation you can use to solve for slope. And I'm going to write that in, underneath M. This equation for slope is used when you are given two points, just like we are for number one. So if you take a look, you have 0, 3 and negative 4, negative 1. Let's identify which one is which. Um, I usually like to tell my students to label each number, and then it's easier to substitute those numbers into the slope formula. When you are writing an equation, the first thing you should do is find your slope. The second thing you should do is find your y-intercept, and then you have all the pieces to write your equation. So let's go ahead and calculate slope first. If you take a look at your points, 0, comma, negative 3, sorry, 0, comma, 3, you have an x and a y value in each point. So why don't we just name the first point x1 and y1, and the second point x2 and y2 just because it's the second one that we see. Go ahead and substitute these numbers into your slope formula. solve for slope and found that m is equal to 1. So we have one piece of our equation. The second piece we need is the y-intercept. Well, if you remember, the definition of a y-intercept is where your graph will cross the y-axis. And the point at that location, your x value is 0. So we were actually given the y-intercept in one of our points. So you are able to identify b as being 3 because the x value is 0. Now that we have m and we have b, you can substitute those numbers into your final equation and write your equation in slope-intercept form. So we're going to take 1 for m and substitute 3 for b. Our final equation looks like this. Example number three is a little bit harder. We are not given the y-intercept for that second step. 
we're going to need to solve it. First, let's start by finding our slope. Once again, m ended up being 1. Take a look at your denominator. Do you see how there's a 1 minus a negative 4? Keep in mind, you will always have a negative, sorry, a subtraction sign, and you have a negative 4. So double negatives equal a positive. Keep your eye out for that. OK, let's find y-intercept. It's a little bit harder. To find my y-intercept, because I don't have a point given to me that has an x-coordinate of 0, let's just use one of those points to find my y-intercept. Pick a point that they gave you. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose 1, 5 because it's a pos they're both positive numbers. What you do is you take 1, 5 and you substitute it into the slope-intercept form and solve for b. You need to use m is equal to 1 because that's the slope of this line. So I'm going to show you how to substitute your point and your slope to find your b value. By solving with the slope-intercept form, I was able to find b. Now that you have your slope and your y-intercept, you can write your final equation. Technically, you're, you're using slope-intercept form twice. You used it to find b, and now you're using it again to write your final solution. So I'm going to go ahead and take my slope and my y-intercept, and make my final equation. You may need to watch this video a few times. It is a little tricky of a concept, but why don't you pause it and try some of the other questions on your own. Also, as I, like I said before, the solutions are on the back of this worksheet. So if you get stuck, reference that. Good luck.